Bradley Smith, but anything could happen. FP2 then, you can see here Valentino Rossi tight and waiting for the rain to get heavier because then you'll need wet tyres. Right now, it's probably... We will never, as we said in the past, we are never going to set the time. We will just, well, I mean, you know, things in the development. And we are trying to develop the... the, the like tomorrow and Sunday as well is, what do you gain out of being out there in Broke? A dilemma the way of all of these teams of riders. Not a bad session for that rider. Smith was quickest from Zarko. Patrici Miller looked to be the most constant throughout that. Uh, FT1 session with Simon Echo. Well, we got some action earlier than we thought. Trying to be around Valentino Rossi, we just saw they're getting prepared to go out on that tyre. 13th to 3rd, great fight back through the pack. And good to see him finally unleash the ejection that he felt after crashing out of that Catalan Grand Prix. Would he have had the speed at the end of the race to potentially? Barcelona was so strong towards the end of the race. Here's Jack Miller, no surprise to see he's having a look out. Sketchy conditions, yeah. These are just strong conditions, they really did shake up the good little bit. Was it? I think was here. Was here, was here. yes. I think you're absolutely spot on that. so far this year. These were really tricky, iffy conditions. Conditions for Michelin slip tyres right now. There are the rain flags. The depletion of that team for 2021. There's still a few rumours going around about Luca Marini coming in to replace the honoured for next season. There's a lot of good work to Roro. Not happy on the slip tyres in these conditions. Pumping those brakes when it gets a tempo turns at 13, 14, a bit wide. So that time may well just be scratched off for exceeding track limits in the back of the tyres in the 72. You can see just uh, accelerating from turn four. That's starting to see your teammate. At the moment, yeah, taking all of the headlines. It has been tough to swallow at times for Alex Rins, hasn't it? Trins is big, big year to emerge and sustain a real serious championship threat. And then go on, he's done it so often. <laughs> Brave as a car, and two men on completely different tyres. Middle on the slicks, Marco on the rain tyres, and they're doing pretty much next year. I mean, this is a damn circuit, remember. This is, and, he's a and he's a championship monster. It would, be, uh, it would be glorious to be able to fly away at the moment to do the likes of Japan, Australia and Malaysia. How did he even foil in the first half the bungle of the first team? I would just my uh, 47 year old ears deceiving me there, but uh, yeah, so it's time for the Ross to Trucci as well. Trucci's out there, he's also yes. got out on slips too. He's always about to hang it around the outside of Jimmy Lesh. Not really he competed for the World Championship in the Premier Class. Like this, for such a long time, there's no doubt about that. But, I would, I would imagine this would be brilliant to watch for the Aussie who's come back in for a little debrief with his crew. Black right there, but he'd still be starting the race. It's a bit of a peculiar rule that right there. There's a lot of more damage to the motorcycle. So I've been keeping a close eye on some of those uh, right tyres when you've been spotting down there again. Also, you detect a problem up while this one the one not for the FTM rookie. Just got behind a fellow rookie, Alex Marquez. We can see this one after Roland because he went down the gears into the chicane. Something not right. Petrucci in fourth, near in fifth. Back with a two Spanish rookie. Loves this circuit. Trying to near then on another improved lap. Danilo Petrucci. So the final corner then, Danilo Petrucci. There's so many things that benefit Petrucci in Canal Valentino Rossi in that put a big dent in the Portuguese Man's Championship Challenge. 